have a guy who's committing two crimes, but you're waiting to prosecute him for the bigger one than the smaller one. Most people don't get right. that privilege, I would suspect, uh, in our day-to-day -day lives, uh, especially when you have a president like Trump no. who, who, yeah, I was going to say, somebody like Trump who some are saying is tampering with witnesses the way Peter was talking about, you know, uh, dangling uh, things outside of witnesses or instructing witnesses not to cooperate with the January 6th investigation. You, you got Trump who is currently under investigation for many different things, uh, impeached twice, never removed from office. Mm -hmm. And the question is, will this time be different? Will there be any consequence? Will he and his allies uh, get out essentially unscathed again? Well, my friend, you've put your finger on the nub of it because in listening to my esteemed colleagues on this panel, from, uh, from the great reporting of Luke and the, the legal analysis um, of some very smart lawyers, a hell of a lot smart, smarter than me, and I'm a recovering lawyer. I, I, you know, the reality of it boils down to this. At what point does this become serious for the American people? At what point do they, do they begin to recognize and internalize, oh, snap, this is real? This is beyond the politics, because right now what Trump is doing is muddying the water with the politics. What all of his actors, from Giuliani to the chief of staff to whomever, it doesn't matter, they're all trying to muddy the waters. They're trying to get away with what they know is a crime. What the RNC did this past week was put their imprimatur on it, uh, again, to muddy the waters with the politics. But for, the, for, for Garland, and for this committee, it boils down to a very simple thing. At what point do the American people see this and know it's real and it matters and it has an impact and it's not just political? That Republicans have been lying through their teeth about January 6th. And now it's time for all those chickens mm. to come home to roost, baby. And that's what the American people are waiting for. That's part of that timeline, that clock that's ticking. Yep, the election is a dead end because you know what happens come January of next year if Republicans take, take over, all Game of this over. goes away. And the, and, and the script is flipped and they begin become the prosecutors of the January 6th commission. They become the prosecutors of those who went after Donald Trump. That's what Trump is setting this up for. So Garland and the committee have to, while they can't coordinate, they have to be at least in the same room, in the same ballpark about mm. the evidence that's being produced at the moment. Yeah, it's a scary thought of what happens next year if Republicans take control of that investigation. We already know what their playbook looks like based on what they are calling for with these shadow investigations into January 6th. Barbara, I want to talk to you.